what is going on people it's been a little bit since I made a video so I figured I'd get on here and say what's up a lot of things going on lately the past few months have been pretty hectic so I haven't had the opportunity to make a video <laughs> my GoPro actually fell off unfortunately not while I was riding but it got really hot out here actually really muggy and uh, the adhesive just kind of came off of my helmet fortunately it happened while I was at home instead of while I was riding <laughs> that would have really sucked so I just kind of figured at that point I'd wait and see uh, let it cool down before I tried it I didn't want it to come off while I was riding so it's a lot better now it was a little unusual weather I don't remember it being that hot or humid here before but the weather's gotten much better back down to our normal 73 75 no humidity type so it's been pretty nice weather for riding <clears throat> I also adjusted my GoPro this time and just used the one back piece and put the camera upside down instead of all the the arm and everything I was using it just feels a little bit more sturdy when I'm riding on the freeway don't have to worry about it flying off with the wind, you know? K9. Well, the first thing that uh, kind of threw me off my game making videos was I went on a trip to uh, Peoria, Illinois for a week. I went up there for some training on some encryption software. An interesting place. I mean, it wasn't bad. The weather was actually nice. And, you know, I was prepared for the crazy humidity that I've always heard it is out there, but it was actually really nice. It was just like being here at home in San Diego. Uh, up until the last day, it was great. The last day before our flight, uh, it started raining, and then it kind of delayed our plane, but only by a couple hours, so it wasn't too bad. I didn't get stuck in our layover. Uh, we didn't get stuck in Dallas. So... We made our next flight with uh, almost no time to spare. Saw Hulk Hogan while we were there. He was walking around, which is pretty interesting. Big dude, man. Still, for his age, that guy is whoa. And then, uh, it's very green out there. Very, uh, very nice. Something I'm not used to. You know, I'm used to seeing all the buildings and houses and freeways and a uh, completely different environment out there for sure. Very enjoyable though. I guess I, I could go for a week or two, but definitely could not go out there for anything longer than that. It's just too much. It's too different for me. I'm definitely not a country boy. <laughs> but it was nice. And then when I came back, uh, stayed, when I came back, I was home for a few days and went out to Vegas for a security conference called DEF CON which is one of the largest security conferences in the world. And I had a blast there. I was there in Vegas for, I think it was like five days. Met some, met up with some friends that I've met in previous years going and we had a blast. If you don't know, uh, if you don't know or have never hung out with a bunch of computer geeks and hackers, <laughs> we definitely like to drink. So we drink our weight worse than alcohol. <laughs> the year before, the year before, a bunch of us went up and we hit up like Costco and Bevmo's and just filled up with alcohol, more than we could drink. And most of it actually ended up coming back because <laughs> there was so much free booze going around over there, we didn't even drink it all. This year, uh, it was just me and a friend. I got the opportunity to go, fortunately. Uh, my friend hooked it up, and if it wasn't for that, I would not have gone, but he hooked it up. And we had a blast, we had a killer time out there. So if you're into security and you've never gone, that's definitely something you want to check out. I'm actually going to be going to one this weekend here in San Diego called TorCon. Another security conference, much smaller, but way, way, way cool, man. I mean, you get to interact with people, uh, you get to talk to people in the same, you know, uh, career paths. You get to talk about what's going on, new vulnerabilities, just it's so hard to explain how awesome it is to be able to have a community like that come on dude what the fuck are you doing 
thank you. <laughs> so I did that. That was fun. Had a blast. Learned a lot of cool things. Got a lot of cool information. Filled up uh, the two four terabyte drives of data. And uh, that was that. Came back and that was actually the other thing that happened to me. I came back after that. And that was awesome. You know, took a break, relaxed. Uh, no more traveling for me. At least for now. At least that I, I see in the future. But eh, you never know. Work changes. The other thing that happened to me, which was awesome, is I've been working for this company for six years. Uh, as a contractor, you know, I started at the uh, help desk and moved up and, you know, to desktop support and then moved into security. And finally, I got converted from a contractor to a full time employee after six years, which is awesome. It's something everyone there works, that works there is waiting for, you know, it's, it's something that's, <laughs> it's like the uh, elusive unicorn. It's hard to get, but it finally happened and I uh, can't say that I'm not happy. It's pretty awesome. Uh, couldn't have come at a better time, so very excited about that. I got pretty much what I asked for as far as pay Which is always a plus right? I mean whoever complains. It's actually interesting. I was reading an article about uh, security fill in general Saying that it's one of the only fields where uh, Employees are actually asking for more money, you know, they're asking for more money They're asking for raises and they're proactively looking for other jobs because security field is huge right now. I mean, you have Target, you have Home Depot, you have all these new vulnerabilities like with the Bash vulnerability or the Poodle vulnerability that just came out last week. It's just insane with all the, the, the work that's going on right now. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can see all that traffic, but that is ridiculous. Look at that. That's insane. There's no need for that. That's like this morning, man. I was away to work. It was crazy. I had so much traffic. And unfortunately, I also saw a motorcycle accident, so I hope he was okay. I didn't see anything, but hope I'll put some video at the end of the lane splitting and the little accident scene. So if you stick around towards the end, you'll see that. <laughs> Anyways, where was it? Oh yeah, becoming an employee. Yeah, so that's awesome. It was definitely great for me and my family, and something I had been waiting for. The next thing that happened is my computer died. I had to wipe it and uh, it was just such a hassle to deal with to wipe it and reinstall it and get all the software installed again and I just was lazy so I let it sit there for a while and collect dust, you know? <laughs> and I haven't done much writing either so I didn't have much video to collect other than going back and front, forth to work. It really was nothing new or anything like that to put up. One reason being is I actually needed a new front tire on the front and so I didn't really go out riding because it just didn't feel safe. It was getting pretty bald. And the weather here has been kind of iffy so I couldn't tell if it was going to rain or if it was just going to be dry. So I just didn't go riding. Now I just got the new tire in last week which is the uh, I think it's the Dunlop Road Smart 2. It's the same tire as it came with a bike figured they were pretty good. I never had any problems with them so I bought them again and got that replaced. I also had to get the chain replaced and it's pretty insane that you know when what a tune-up to a bike does like it's a completely new bike. After getting the tune-up there's more power, uh, the way it dries, the clutch, the brakes, everything it just feels so much better. I don't you know I've had cars for a very long time and even when I got the tune-up so then I mean yeah you notice the difference but you definitely don't notice a difference like you do on a bike it's like night and day like I feel like it's a brand new bike essentially I mean it's so crazy when you drive off the lot after a tune-up it's like oh it's it's like <laughs> I don't know it's hard to describe you can I'm sure you can come up with terms but holy shit look at that traffic man even over here people trying to get off. I really hope that the Silver Strand isn't closed because uh, maybe it's, a, I don't know. That's just a lot of traffic. But yeah, getting uh, getting that tune-up, man, it's awesome. So if I didn't have to go, if I didn't have Torcon this weekend, 
I'd probably go riding. Definitely miss going out to the to hills and going to the twisties. Oh, just burped. That was disgusting. I'm gonna open this up. Get some air. Whew. Terror. Oh, I didn't catch that. Is this a terror? Terror? Terrier? Or what the hell is said? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And until uh, next time, which should be soon. <laughs> Uh, catch you later.